Hello! Seekers, explorers, joiners and grown-ups, great to see you. Thumbs up. Hello, we've got Mama Jukes here again. You're much more confident this week, aren't you? Yeah. What we're we thinking about today. Do you like to help people? What kind of things can you do to be helpful? Yeah, Mama Duke likes to tidy up. What? Keep your bedroom tidy. That's really good. That's very helpful. What else do you do? Always put your banana skins in the bin. Now that's a good tip, isn't it? What happen if you leave it on the floor? Yeah, we've all seen that in cartoons where somebody falls over. It's good to be helpful. Do you like helping people? I like helping people too. And what are we going to be thinking about today? What? You're distracted by all the Christmas decorations. Mama Duke is looking into your home. Some people have got their trees up. Yeah, it's a little bit early, don't you think? Yeah, there are some decorations going up and that's because we're starting to think about Christmas and we're celebrating Jesus's birthday. So that's why we've got decorations in the house. Well, what are we talking about today? Well, today we're going to be talking about Mary, Jesus's mum, and how she found out that she was going to be the mother of Jesus. And God made us with very expressive faces. We're going to practice some expressions. How do you do happy? How about sad? How about shocked? There's lots of different ways we can show how we're feeling on our face. And that's what I want you to do today. When I'm telling the, the Bible story about Mary, I want you to think about how she's feeling and to show that feeling on your face. So Mary was only young. She wasn't married. And then one day she saw an angel, a big angel. What kind of face would Mary have for the angel? Have you done that face? Is it a sort of surprised face? Yeah. So the angel appeared to her. He was called the angel Gabriel. And um, I think angels are quite big. Sometimes they have wings. So it'd be quite a shock, wouldn't it? And uh, Gabriel said to Mary that you have been chosen by God to have a baby. And the baby is going to be God's son and he's going to be called Jesus. How do you think Mary felt suddenly finding out that she's going to be a mum? What do you think? Maybe you need to chat with your mum if she's there. Yeah, might be a little bit like, mightn't it? So Mary found out that she was going to have a baby and um, a special baby. And she was going to be looking after him all on her own. How do you think she felt about that? A bit, probably again. Yeah. So, um, Mary then had to prepare. And she was going to get married to a man called Joseph. So she had to tell Joseph that she was going to have a baby. She might have been a little bit kind of worried because uh, Joseph might not want to marry her if she's going to have a baby. He might not want a baby too. So I had to have that conversation with Joseph. How do you think she felt about having that conversation? A little bit nervous. What's a nervous face? A bit like that. Anyway, Joseph said, Mary, I will marry you. How do you think that made Mary feel? Yeah, she's very happy. Then Joseph said, but Mary, there's going to be a census. We're going to have to travel all the way to where my ancestors came from, to Bethlehem. It's a very, very long way. We've got to walk and travel on a donkey. How do you think Mary felt about that? A very long walk when she was very tired and expecting a baby. Mary felt a bit like that. So it was a very, very long journey. And it was nearly time for Jesus to be born, so Mary was quite hot and quite uncomfortable. 
and there was nowhere for them to stay. There was no room in any of the inns. And the baby was due. How do you think Mary felt about that? A little bit worried. Until she met this very kind innkeeper who said, I don't have a bed for you, but I have a stable. You can have your baby there. So Mary went in to the stable where the animals were and it was smelly and it was dirty. How do you think Mary felt about that? Probably a bit like... But she had Jesus in the stable and there wasn't a bed for him so she put him into the manger where the animals had all their straw to feed. But when Mary held baby Jesus in her arms, how do you think she felt then? Yeah. Wasn't it amazing that all those things happened to Mary? And all the way that she felt throughout that time. By now you should have received a little um, gift from us which is a set of crafts that we can do in the run-up to Christmas. So today we're going to do the first of those which is the Advent craft. Now Advent is the countdown to Christmas and it starts on the 1st of December and if you've got an Advent calendar at home you know that you'll have one door for every day of December for each day of Advent. So we've got some Advent activities here. There are two things in your pack. You might not get this if there's only young children in the family because this is very complicated. This one is more suitable for younger children to prepare but it's an activity the whole family can do. So you've got a nice wooden chest here. And you can decorate that. Here's one that I've decorated. I've chosen to, to paint that and to stick some stars on. I'll put some stickers in there. I've included that. Then you've got a, a piece of card that looks like this. And there's one box for every day of Advent. So what we need to do is to cut these out. Little ones get a grown up to help. So um, cut them all out, shuffle them all, put them in the box. And there's something to think about on each day of Advent. So you can choose to do that. Maybe there's a time where you're all together as a family and you can look at it and think about what it is written on the card. And so God chose Mary to be the mother of Jesus. What an honour, what a privilege that was for Mary. And it was quite a hard job, but she did it. And we can read about that in the Bible when we read about the birth of Jesus and all the things that happened. That God also has plans for us and he wants us to do things as well. We talked earlier about how, how you help around the house. How do you help other people? Well, God has a plan for us and he wants us to do things for him. Now, God is God and God can do anything, but he likes to use us. Would you like to join me in a prayer? So eyes closed, hands together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have jobs for us to do. Lead us and show us how you want us to serve you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>